and that is the final key. Hey guys, Silver Praetorian here. Welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. We're about to take on a boss. The bossiest of bosses. Not really, he's not that much of a boss. But with all the keys connected, we now have a beam of light that can take us up to the Sky Temple itself where the final bit of energy the Aang have stolen remains. We take this, Dark Aether falls apart, and we've saved Aether itself. So then, obviously the biggest and baddest Aang of them all is going to be standing in our way. <laughs> like anything like that has stopped Samus before. Alright then. One thing to note about this starting area is there is at least a save station. I don't know. <laughs> that sounds intimidating. Very well. And the energy is being pulled up into the room above us. By whatever the crap that is. We're going to have to deal with that. And get that energy back. But as I said, there is at least a save station. I do not know if there is a missile or ammo recharge, rather, but at worst, you're, you should really not be coming in here with anything less than, like, one short dark ammo for to get in to the dark world, and maybe a little bit of health, which you'll get back right here. But this is the final save. The only lore we're missing is up ahead. Bring it on. <laughs> That's all I have to say at this point. Bring it on. And watch me fail this jump. And I totally didn't fail that jump. Cool. Now then, I need the screw attack to actually make it up this. Actually, is this what they showed in the demo? For the screw attack? I don't remember. But we jump up here. And there's the energy. Bit of phase on around, but no sight of what tried to take it. And because we totally weren't in the air at the start of this cutscene. But whatever, game. Uh. But of course, Samus, it's not that simple. Standing in our way is the leader of the king. It's Emperor. The Emperor Aang. And the Emperor Aang is a bit of a jerk. Not terribly, but a bit of a jerk still. Alright, now the thing to note is the Emperor Aang has five separate scans. The body there. The head here. Or, yeah, the head there. Now then, to actually... You don't want to stand in Phazon, because Phazon is bad. Do that. You can get some splash damage in on the various tentacles. He will fire stuff at you. He will swing stuff around at you, try to hit you like that. He will do this big energy ball thing, which he will try to throw at you. And stuff like that. Overall, I would suggest for this phase, really, missiles are one of your better bets for hitting him. Now this here is important. That is a scan. This is a missable scan, obviously. One that is very easy to miss. This is the Emperor Ing's eye. If you get hit by that laser, you're kind of stunned stupidly like that. Really annoying. You need to hit it, obviously, in the little iris. Before it goes down, like that did there. It's kind of obnoxious, but what you gonna do? Now then it looks like two missiles is enough to actually put a tentacle down. But missiles are rather inaccurate, as you've noticed. And he likes to be just a bit of a jerk. More than a little bit. And it's really just a matter of, like, as the fight goes on, as you do damage to the eye itself, he will... Word I'm looking for. He will brought out more tentacles. Ah, that should have hit. But there's half the health of the iris gone, which is pretty good. 
So we'll have to go through that phase again. As you've seen, he sent out more tentacles, which I've just all completely missed. Can we hit these with power bombs? I don't actually know. It doesn't appear like it. Yes, actually, it does look like we can hurt them with power bombs. That's convenient. Really convenient, that is. As it stands, this fight, I pretty much have no real strategy aside from tank hits for this first phase. Really, we don't want to use too many... Oh, this is another attack he has. Kind of just warps through time and space to try to attack you through that. Kind of obnoxious. One tentacle left. All tentacles are down. Brings us back to the iris. Should be one more hit on the iris. Like so. Destroying the iris pushes us into phase two. Phase two is mildly obnoxious, and you want to save your power bombs for it. This is Emperor Ink, Cocoon, or Chrysalis. It is also a scan. Just jump. It's Chrysalis. Just jump so you don't so you can avoid the poison there. What you need to do is not get knocked in the poison. There are inglets that will spawn. The inglets are annoying. What you need to do is destroy the God damn inglets. Is destroy the little tentacles that come out. Power bombs do an amazing job of it. So really, if you can tr like trick a few to pop out while a power bomb is blowing up, you will one shot them. But that's not the easiest thing in the world to do. As I'm showing the fact that it is rather difficult. Aside from that, you would want to drop power bombs on top of the tentacle as it's trying to pop up like that. The gas will slowly rise as the fight goes on. I think it will go back down later on as well. But the inglets get in your way, quite obviously. So this is obnoxious enough in its own right. So we should just have these three here. But we have plenty of power bombs left, which is kind of useful. And of course we get knocked down to the gas. That should be tentacles destroyed. I can't see anything that's going on. I don't like this portion of the fight at all. Really not my favorite part of the fight. If not glaringly obvious. Really. Come on. Alright then. Finally. And I don't like that part of the fight if it wasn't obvious. Upon destroying all the little boil tentacle things... Cool music. But yes, upon destroying all of the little boil things, the chrysalis shatters, and you have the Emperor Ing itself, the mutated Emperor Ing, caused by Phazon, obviously, because Phazon does everything. I don't like this fight. I really don't like this fight. Okay, you can only hurt him in the mouth. Beyond that, the angle to hit him in the mouth is a jerk. That foot of his, that center foot, I, I love his design by the way. I think he looks rather cool. Except that center foot will interrupt your shots more than it has a right to. And the chances you get to hit him are tricky enough as it is. He will do stuff where you won't be able to hit him, period. Like there, I hit him. When you actually do enough damage to his traditional phase, he will go either light or dark. In this case, he went dark, signified by his mouth going purple. At which point, you need to fill him up with light energy. Standard opposite polarity. Come on! Standard opposite polarity stuff. If you could use the Annihilator Beam, it would still hurt him. The Annihilator Beam would obviously eat through ammo. You could also use like the sunburst or the dark burst if you felt confident enough that you could hit him. I do not. I do not feel like I could hit him at all. And this will put us back on the power beam because his mouth went back to orange. One power miss power or power missile. Super missile, at least on normal difficulty, will boost him back to or will push him into one of his color phases. Now then, he will also have these attacks there, like this, where he will send out various 
things which you can use to get energy back, ammo back. It's rather useful and I can't imagine trying to beat him without being able to replenish your ammo. Gets kind of annoying. I think I'm just going to rapid fire at this point. Because, uh, well, that's back to the normal phase. But you can understand why I don't like this boss. Did he... What color did he go? Yes, he went dark. So I can use the light beam. I trust the light beam more because it's faster. It has some variation of homing on it. Oh, hey. The light beam, I just figure, is probably one of the better weapons overall. With this, the dark beam, you kind of just need to rapid fire because that will also stun you, by the way, kind of bad. You just kind of need to rapid fire the dark beam because going for a charge shot, as nice as it is, is too risky. He also has that attack where he'll go for the wall. Oh, one other thing. there You can... There is a hole in the back of his head. You can hit him in said hole in the back of his head. Don't expect me to pull this off. Just don't expect me to pull it off, period. Because it's really, really stupid how difficult it is to hit him in the back of the head. Like I said, that middle foot, it is just the biggest interrupter of everything. The um, Dark Beam, obviously, when he uses his version of the Dark Beam, has a chance to freeze you, like how your Dark Beam can freeze him. Nothing too special about that. Really, your best bet is to just do stuff like this, where you jump in close and you fire a shotgun blast in his mouth and tell him to enjoy it. I'm not 100% sure if he just keeps alternating back and forth. Ow, ow, pain. Pain! Dark pain. Eat dark beam. I'm not 100% sure if he just alternates back and forth between light and dark as you knock him out or through his phases. I usually just... Oh, hey, yeah, the, the light beam will also burn you, where you take a bit of damage over time, which is interesting. I don't know if he just alternates back and forth between light and dark. <sighs> this is what I hate. He will open his mouth, then an instant later close it again, and it's so annoying. And then he'll do this little stomp thing where he just... You can't hit him, period. And he likes to knock you back into the phase on, and you probably saw that thing in the back of his head for a split second. Not that you could actually have hit him. Went back to Dark Beam. Pretty convenient. You know what? Oh, really? I obviously have enough life left to, to survive this particular fight. This is not that bad of a fight, to be perfectly honest. As annoying as this fight is, and as much as I hate it, on normal anyway, it isn't that bad. Keyword there being normal. Which, granted, that is the difficulty we're on currently. Oh, hey, went, did he go dark two times in a row? I have no issues with this. As I said before, the Annihilator Beam will still hurt him, as I will demonstrate now. If I can actually hit him. Yes, the Annihilator Beam will still hurt him. It homes in. I will probably finish him off with the Annihilator Beam, because... Words... Yeah, you hit him enough, Emperor Ng will be defeated without too much issue. And then you just gotta collect the energy and you're done. As far as final boss goes, I really liked Metroid Prime a lot more than the Emperor Ng. The Emperor Ng was not that interesting overall. But for killing him, we managed to get the final bit of energy back. With this, as I've said, Dark Aether will be destabilized and everything will be returned back to normal. Ah, just gotta absorb the energy back. But, you know, Dark Aether being destabilized and about to be destroyed probably would be a good thing if we weren't still on Dark Aether. We should take care of that. We should probably take care of that. What would a Metroid game be, however, without a timed escape? Because every Metroid game has to have one of those. You also probably noticed that our health was restored to full, even if our ammo, missiles, everything else was not. Keep a note of that. That's done for a very important reason. 
you probably already noticed it already. I mean, we don't have the full logbook entry yet. We didn't get the notification saying that, yay, you got 100% of logbook entries. Well, is there someone that we haven't fought yet? Someone that we've already fought a few times, perhaps? Nah, well, I I'm obviously illusional. We just gotta get to the nearest energy light portal and get out of here. We'll be fine. No issues whatsoever. There's no way that this can possibly go wrong. <laughs>